G'day, g'day, g'day. This is Charlie and I'm coming to you today from my locals community with your daily dose of business inspiration. Come on over and join me at askcharlieletham.locals.com. You can join the community for free or you can become a supporter for $2 US per month. That allows you to interact with the content, leave comments, start your own conversations, access supporter only content. And of course, it also helps me to keep creating content like this, like my podcasts and like my tutorials. I'd love to see you over there. Let's get on with today's daily dose of business inspiration. And I want to talk about the traits of a successful entrepreneur. Now, Am I a successful entrepreneur? Um, I'm not as successful as some, but I think I am a successful entrepreneur. I have been running my own businesses now for over 20 years. I have seen a lot of failures. I've seen a lot of successes and I've done a lot of work on myself, my own personal development and my own personal uh, professional development. But I wanted to talk about the things that you know I, I've seen and the things that I look at when I'm wondering why my business might not be going so well or why I might not be thriving as well as I want and part of that comes down to my mindset is am I actually thinking like an entrepreneur or am I thinking like an employee so let's have a chat about the entrepreneurial mindset and how you as a business owner might be able to uh, harness some of these things take some of these things on board and maybe get get ahead with your business as well the first things that come to mind when you're looking at an entrepreneur is what do they do? They're resilient and they persevere. Resilience and perseverance. They uh, they bounce back after challenges and setbacks. They don't let the challenges and setbacks stop them or phase them or run them out of their business. They may change things around a little but they don't let it stop them. Uh, if you remember, in one of my earlier inspirations, I was talking about the Amazon Fire Phone and how much money it lost. And Jeff Bezos's comment of, <laughs> you think that's a failure? <laughs> Wait till you see how many more failures we've got coming. That's resilience. The man is resilient. Like, love him or, love him or hate him, the man is resilient. That was like, yep. We've, got, we've made a mistake. We're just going to keep on going. So you've got to be resilient. You've also got to be prepared to persevere. Just because something gets tough doesn't mean you should give up. I have been told that I am a very stubborn woman. Uh, I'm actually, that's, that's actually um, a, a, a title I wear quite, quite proudly, actually. I'm a very stubborn woman. If something is hard to do, I will normally keep going until I get it until I can until I overcome it or succeed at what I'm doing. So be resilient, persevere at what you're doing. It will help you in the long run. It's tough. You should you may want to get yourself some support. You may need a network around you. So I've got my locals community. Come over and join us there. If it gets a bit tough, you've got you've got some shoulders, virtual shoulders you can cry on. You've got some virtual people, people that you can talk to and say, what do I do? How do I get around this? I just need some loving today and I need someone to tell me that I'm awesome and I need to keep going. But be resilient and persevere. Think innovate innovatively i love that word it's hard to say it's really the core of what our businesses are successful entrepreneurs look for new ways to solve old problems they look for new ways to meet customer needs they improve their products and services constantly they don't just keep doing the same thing again and again and again now You've got to balance that out. <laughs> you, you, your team should be following your process. Your your team should be following your policies and, and making sure that things are delivered in the same way. But they need to be prepared to innovate. You need be, to be prepared to innovate. You need to be prepared to new to experience and adopt new ways of looking at things and doing things. Experiment with new ideas. Take calculated risks. Take risks, but make sure they're calculated risks. You don't want to take a risk that, well, maybe you do. Maybe you want to take a risk that is a thousand to one. It's a calculated risk. Maybe you're prepared to wear those odds. 
Maybe you want odds that are a little bit closer together. I know I do. That's the type of mindset I am. But it allows you to stay ahead of your competition, to stay ahead of the market, to read market changes and adapt to them quickly. Uh, we talk. We can talk about disruption if you like. You can become a disruptor simply by being prepared to innovate and take on technologies that are just hitting the marketplace now. Now, I'm going to say that they, this all needs to be balanced with don't just go and do something because it looks to be innovative. Don't just go and do something because it looks to be a game changer. You need to do some thinking about it. You need to calculate the risks and ensure that you are prepared to wear those risks when they go. The third point I've got here is be proactive and self-motivated. If, and this is what I was saying about, is am I in an entrepreneur's mindset at the moment or am I in an employee's mindset? Now, an entrepreneur is someone who is, a, they've got a go get them attitude. They are prepared to see problems and act on them. They seek out and create opportunities. They're self, and they're self-motivated in that, it can get tough, but they're going to keep on going. Again, I'm a very stubborn woman. I, I, I don't know what to say to that. I'm a stubborn woman. Uh, Self-motivated is that you overcome obstacles. You seize op market opportunities when you see them. You, uh, you go out and actually interact with them before you are forced to interact with them. So be proactive and self-motivated. And then on top of all of that, you've got to be adaptable and flexible. I know, you've got to be all these things, right? But if you look at all of these things that I'm saying, they're all very, very similar. They, they, they're on a spectrum. They're all sort of within a, in a, in a fan of each other. You've got to be able to adapt to circumstances. You've got to be able to be flexible under certain circumstances. If, if during economic downturns or in industry disruptions, you will find new ways to sustain and grow your business. Go back to the podcast I did recently, the inspiration I put out recently about dealing with economic downturns or in tough situations. But be prepared to be adaptable and flexible. And the last thing, which I think is probably the most crucial, is have a vision and have some long-term focus. It is so easy for us as small to medium business owners to get caught in the day-to-day -day grind. I just need to make enough money to pay the bills this week. I need to make enough money to put food on the table. just need to keep bringing the money through the door so that I can keep operating. Yes, you are going to have periods like that. But you can also and you should also have the vision of where you want to be with your business. What are you actually aiming to do with your business in the long term? Have that vision because that's going to sustain you when you get to a point of why the hell am I doing this? Why am I going through this grind when it is so hard and I'm just not achieving and I can't afford to buy my I can't afford to buy a nice meal for tonight. I'm eating baked beans again. We're all there. We've all done it. I'm sure we've all done it. I know I do I've done it. I've done it several times in my life. But if you look at entrepreneurs like Steve Jobs and Elon Musk and uh, I think they're two great examples. They're visionaries who revolutionize their industries with their long-term thinking and their unwavering focus on their goals. If you listen to Elon Musk talk today, he talks about where he sees things going. He talks about the possibilities. Does he know how he's going to get there? Not necessarily. He does not have a plan for some of these big things he's doing, but he knows that he's going to make it because he's got this vision. So do you have an entrepreneur's mindset? Are you stuck in an employee's mindset while you're running your business? What is one thing you can change in the way you're thinking that starts to set you down this track again? You had a vision for your business, I'm sure. If you've lost it, what was it? If you've lost the focus, how do you get it back? Come across and join us at Locals. Ask charlielatham.locals.com. Join the conversation there. Put up your thoughts. Ask questions challenge 
challenge me on the things I'm saying here. I like I love to be challenged. I love to have spirited, respectful discussions on on these types of things. Also, please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you find out when I drop more content, and maybe share this video with someone who you think needs to hear it. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.